morning good afternoon good night wherever you are just know that i'm saying hello i hope that you guys are doing well and i hope that you guys can see me uh today is march 1st woo, woo, woo. today is march 1st and as you know today is my pre-op well i guess it would be pre-op um virtual appointment for my myomectomy so i just wanted to open the vlog up because i will be including my conversation with my doctor in this vlog right now we're just getting dressed um i'm about to have a cup of coffee and some oatmeal i'm gonna eat light because like i said we are going out for lunch um on the turtle bay resort Wait a second i'm gonna have you start birth control pills today okay okay the reason why is when I do this surgery there has to be zero possibility that you could be pregnant and because <clears throat> if I were to do the surgery and you were pregnant it would disrupt the pregnancy right so as an extra precaution we will have you start birth control pills today and then I will have you continue and finish the pack after you finish the pack so you'll continue it after surgery after you finish the pack then you don't need to take any more okay your first period when you do finish the pack may be heavier and more uncomfortable than they have been in the past. And that's because your uterus is still healing. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. Um, usually it's urgent if they're calling because they can see I'm in, I'm in a telehealth. Okay, so you've never had anesthesia before. All your wisdom teeth are still there. Oh, well, I did. My wisdom teeth have been pulled out, but I just got numbing. I haven't had anesthesia before. Oh, you're a brave woman. I know. <laughs> okay. And you've never been hospitalized for anything, like uh, pneumonia or a car accident? No. Not overnight, no. Okay. And then pap smears have all been normal. Uh, no, last, just recently you had an abnormal pap smear, but they told you to follow up in one year, correct? Right. And then... You had the one biochemical pregnancy. When was that? That was in November. Um, around the middle of November. Okay. Now, speaking of this procedure, the official medical term for it is an abdominal myomectomy. The word abdominal means I'm going to make a bikini cut incision. It'll be the same incision that they will use for a C-section that you will have to have after the surgery in your future pregnancies. That C-section will have to be done at around the 37-week mark. And if you go into early labor, you need to go to labor and delivery and inform them. You've had an abdominal myomectomy and you were told not to labor so that they can figure out is it true labor and do they need to do an early C-section with a premature baby. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you uh, the term for it because, of course, I'm doing my own research. And I saw, like, um, open myomectomy and a different... That's another term for it. Okay, cool. So this procedure, as with any procedure, includes bleeding. Half of my patients who undergo myomectomy will require blood products. Do you give me permission to transfuse you in the case of life-saving emergency? Definitely. Okay. The good news is you only have one fibroid, so I'm hoping I can get this fibroid out pretty quickly. After we do the surgery, I need you to contracept and to not get pregnant for a minimum of six months to give your uterus time to heal. Wow. Yeah, because all of those sutures are still in your uterus. They're dissolvable sutures. They take a long time to completely get reabsorbed and to heal. The concern is, is that if you get pregnant too soon as your uterus starts to grow and stretch, because those sutures have not completely healed, they could tear open. And then you can lead to death internally, lose the baby, potentially lose your health, you lose your life. So after the surgery, you cannot, you cannot try to get pregnant for a minimum of six months. So... Okay, so my mom is here too, just to make sure I ask all the proper questions. Um, with that being said, would I have to use like protection with my husband? Would I have to do birth control or? You have both options. So you can, I, if you prefer to do birth control, I'm more than happy to prescribe you birth control so you can stay on that. 
If you prefer to use condoms instead of going on a hormonal birth control, then that's okay too. We just ask that you do choose a reliable and consistent method of contraception to prevent the chance that you could get pregnant too soon after the surgery. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably just do the birth control route. Our goal is to get you out of the hospital as soon as possible because in the hospital, you know, there's raging COVID right now. I don't need you catching COVID after surgery from just being in the yeah. hospital. Yeah. Um, so, but the milestones I need you to meet in recovery is having your pain control with oral pain medications. And it's okay if you need narcotics after the surgery. I'll, I can send you home with narcotics if your pain is there. Your pain may be controllable without narcotics, so you mm -hmm. don't have to be on narcotics if you don't need them. The other milestones mean it, are that you have to be able to eat and drink without throwing up, you have to be passing gas, and you have to be able to walk and pee on your own. Some people go home the next day after surgery. Other individuals might need two nights in the hospital before they can be all right so hey guys i wanted to come and end the vlog off um honestly it is a completely different day my surgery is scheduled for tomorrow morning so i am getting some things together just planning um but i wanted to talk a little bit about what my doctor and i discussed the other day and it should be some clips in the video as well from that we basically discussed like the recovery process um we also discussed my stay that i will have in the hospital for some reason i was about to say hotel this is not a hotel but um my stay that i will have in the hospital after the myomectomy i should just stay one night which is the night of the surgery or the day of the surgery uh, so hopefully I won't have to stay two nights. Um, do stay two nights. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you do have to hit certain milestones to go home. Uh, like you have to use the bathroom on your own, tolerate your pain, um, pass gas. So you have to do different things to go home. But of course, all of that will be included in my video because I am sharing the journey. Right now, I'm just getting my bag together for my stay um, and just getting my house in order uh, so everything will be good while I am away. Um, most of you know that my mother is here as well, so I won't really have to be worried about anything, but this is my house, so I am trying to get it together. Um, but other than that, other than that, I can't really think about anything. You guys will notice in the clip that my doctor did recommend that my husband and I do not get pregnant for six months after this surgery, which is something that I did not know. Um, so I wanted to put the information out there as well for any of the young wives watching me and have just discovered that, you know, you guys may have to do the myomectomy as well. Um, the procedure that I'm having is called open myomectomy. So if you guys are having that surgery, which I believe with any myomectomy, you still have to let your uterus heal for six months afterwards. So if you are trying to conceive and you're young and you have to um, have this surgery, or if you're older as well, it, it's for anybody, you have to wait six months after so that's just some information i'm sure that you guys will hear it in the clips as well um but i am going to end this part of the vlog here and i'm going to pick it back up when i have my surgery and when i am recovering so as always i hope you guys be blessed